but they, they, they give uh, trust on me and uh, I had a good time with Ronar and then having a great, great time as well with the Zahid. So for me, the, I cannot never compare the two persons. من وجهة نظرك هل المدرب المحلي المنتخب المغربي قادر على قيادة المغربي أم الأجنبي أفضل؟ No, we're talking about uh, me. To be honest with you, I wish that uh, inshallah we we will have uh, you know the new generation coming over like uh, in Egypt or Tunisia or whatever Algeria like uh, Bil Madi. I would love to see uh, Bil Madi like Bil Madi in national team in uh, Egypt. Because you know, it's just to give like uh, opportunity to the the old players. You know, sometimes they can make it, like Bil Madi. I think uh, uh, us Arabic people we don't uh, we don't give uh, that much trust in, uh, in old players. Sometimes they can give more than in uh, anybody else. So they, they have to, we have to give them opportunity like. Uh, Like Bill Madi is doing well, like uh, Mas, uh, like in um, in Senegal with uh, CC, you know, it's lot uh, it's lot of players can give uh, for their own countries because nobody else gonna love the country like uh, you 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 love it, like, like uh, the old players love it. So for me, I hope that inshallah in the future I will see more more Arabic uh, coaches in national teams. Inshallah, I wish, I wish, because they deserve it, and I know, I know they know football, and they just need the trust of the uh, of the people. هل نجح المنتخب المصري في فك في فك عقدة المنتخب المغربي؟ Every time we play against Egypt, you suffer, even if it's friendly game. <laughs> يعني, you know, when you play against Egypt, it's not friendly game. Huh? It's a, uh, it's a, uh, he's scared to lose. You're proud to beat uh, Messer. I mean, Messer is uh, is something big for uh, when in, when you are in football is uh, is a big derby. You know, it's always between us Arabic. You know, when you play against uh, Egypt, Algeria, uh, Tunisia, it's always di- different when you're footballer. So all the all the games you suffer, so but partic- particularly against Egypt, you suffer so more. Definitely, because Egypt there was there was one of the best team in uh, in Africa for years and years and years. So it's not it's not uh, from today we come we're gonna say uh, you beat Egypt is easy. So Egypt has been like for 20 or 30 years the one of the best team in uh, in Africa. ما رأيك ما رأيك في المدرب كارلوس كروش المدير الفني المنتخب مصر؟ كارلوس كروش. For me, he's a tactical, uh, he's a tactical coach, and he's good, very, very good. To be honest, is the for me, and uh, I have a good friend of mine is uh, working for him, uh, Oceano. Oceano is working for him, and he was working for uh, with him for a long time. And Carlos Carlos, I used to know him from uh, Sporting Lisbon, you know, in Portugal, and uh, he was a. Uh, assistant coach of uh, Ferguson it's not for nothing when you are when you are with Sir Ferguson for years and years that means anything so uh, I think he's going to go change a lot of things for an Egyptian an Egyptian team and uh, but he needs a time it's always the same so I think he needs a time to know the players to know the you know the, the, the mentality as well to adapt himself to the players But I think he will do well, inshallah. Inshallah, he will do well for you, and he will give you, uh, he will give you uh, opportunity to go probably to the World Cup, inshallah. And I wish it for the Mesriyan. Inshallah. ما علاقتك بكريستيانو رونالدو؟ وهل كنت الأسطورة المفضلة له عندما كنت لاعبا في سبورتنج لشبونة؟ No, yeah, he was kid. He was kid. I used to watch him play. Sometimes we uh, we already know that he was uh, he had something different. After the training session, he was like uh, kicking the ball, on uh, taking the free kicks and everything in his own for long long time. And uh, yeah, he was a he was a, a great player when he was younger. But we didn't know that he would go that far. To be honest, when uh, but he worked hard. 
is uh, in that time he was like uh, he was very young and uh, he was like 13 13 14 years old and uh, he was working like mad i uh, said well you're working more than us professionals <laughs> so and uh, that's why that's why he, he is what he is and uh, for me uh, he would be a uh, one of the legend ever probably uh, to make uh, to be to one of the example ever for the young kids because uh, even for the human being because if you work hard you always have the fruit of your work definitely and uh, him is uh, the example for all the world uh, for me i cannot see to my kids that i look at me see whatever because that's the genius but uh, for my kid i'm, I'm listening I'm, I'm, when i'm talking to him i said look at ronaldo because Ronaldo is working hard every single day. So that's the big example for the kids. <clears throat> and for me, I like him. I like the person he is. I like his anger. And uh, even in his age still, he's, he's got anger, he's got motivation. And he works hard as uh, like he's 20 years old. And uh, he's the big example for my kids. And for me, the, 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 the example I give to my kids is Ronaldo is nobody else. ما اجمل هدف سجله مصطفى حجي في شباك منتخب مصر؟ يو نو ان 98 حبيبي اوف كورس يو نو اي سكور اي سكور تو جولز اجينست مصريين يعني في في كاس افريقيا يعني واي سكور اجين ان رابات افولي از ويل سو اتس تو جولز اي سكور اجينست ايجيبت اي واز هابي تو سكور ذيم بيكوز اي هاد ا a great keeper in front of me so it wasn't easy to to score a goal against them but uh yani man and allah yani fi fi burkina faso wa gadugo yani man and allah yani that's the way it is you know you can do it 100 times but uh, it's against egypt that's for why that's why we say ardat al walidin yani habibi like i said to you when i play against egypt it's like i want to die on the pitch I want to beat Egypt, Habibi. When I play against Egypt, I take I take everything, I rest, I eat well, I sleep well. I have everything to beat Egypt. And when I used to play, uh, I was I was sick. Uh, you know, when I uh, in 2001, I was injured. I was playing for Faston Villa, and I was injured. And uh, the national team called me and they said to me, yeah, you have to be here against Egypt, it's only you. And actually, uh, when I come over, I didn't know if I, I, had, uh, I, know if I if I'm playing or not, because I have the hamstring. I had the hamstring, I, I was, normally I was off for like uh, for, uh, for four weeks, and I had only two weeks rest. So I had another week normally before I start to train. So, but I, I trained. When I started to, to to train, but slowly, step by step, and uh, we try to get ready or to play only half half a game. You know, half uh, half game, probably the first half or second half. And the coach he was Portuguese guy, and he asked me to play all the game. And I said I would see. Uh, that's why I come out after, because I had the hamstring started to hurt me. And uh, the, actually, after this game, I was off for two months. That's why uh, I had a problem with Aston Villa after. I'm so happy that you were with us today. And you're so happy that you're with us and you're so happy that you're with us and you're so happy that you're with us and you're so happy that you're with us. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, my God. 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 I never talk with any journalist. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But Mr. I don't know why. Online, I'll add him, but you never, I never speak with French guys, English guys, wherever they come from, even Moroccan people. I don't even talk with them anymore. But Mr. Ian, Allah, sometimes I do it because I know it's come from the heart. So I love you a lot. So can Habibi Salam Allah, Mr. Ian Kamalin, and to Madima from Kalbi Ali. Well, I'm going to have 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 to